in this e-commerce WordPress website, we set up some boxes at the bottom, eight different boxes. We can have a different picture for each of these boxes and we can set it, set whatever text we want in there and we can have it so that if you click on this, it goes to a specific page of the website. So this could be shoes and that could be dresses and so on. So how we do that is we go to the admin and we go to pages, all pages, and then we're looking for the home page because that's where these things are. They're on the home page. So we'll scroll down and there is home. And once we move our mouse over it, then the edit option appears. So we click edit. And then we'll look for those four boxes or eight boxes. So here they are. Now the tricky part is clicking the edit pencil because it's not that edit pencil. It's not this edit pencil it's this one. So we've got to get right inside next to where it says banner and then another edit pencil appears. So that's the one we want to use. So I'm going to click this one, the top left. I'll click edit. And here we can see the image that we have there. The plus sign means you can add an image. And it shows the banner height at 300 pixels. The padding is 445 pixels. That's the space around the banner. And then here, we don't need to know what this code means. We just know that if we put a web address here, that's what it's going to link to. So we put Google there just for fun. So when we go back here to this top left one, if I click on that, it should bring me to Google. And there it is. It brings me to Google. So what we would actually do is put a page of the website, like maybe um, accessories or jewelry or shoes or whatever we want it to link to. We put the specific link to that page right in here. So if I wanted it to be handbags, I'd click on handbags. Then up at the top of the page, I in the address bar, I can copy the URL for handbags. And I would just copy it and paste it right there. So we'll get rid of Google. And there, there's the web address for handbags. So then I all I have to do is save that by clicking the save button and I'm done.